Hi, this is Katie. I'm in a different car. Can you guys tell? Look how clean this car is. I'm in my mom's car because I'm back on Long Island for Thanksgiving. Well, it's Wednesday right now. But for the next few days, I'm gonna be visiting my mom and my dad's coming to visit and I'll be with my brothers and a bunch of family. It's gonna be super fun. So I'm back at home and my mom is at the chiropractor right now, but I decided to drive her and then record in her car. And so that's what I'm doing right now. My hair, like I hate it right now, so just let's just get past it. I hate it. I like my little, uh, can you even see? I don't know if you can see this, my little, my little three-year-old, like little half bun thing. Anyway, but this looks like a disaster and I just, we just need to, we need to get over it. And by we, I mean I, because. So do you guys remember a few weeks ago and I posted about the second scariest travel story that I have, my little like story time video about the time that I got too close to a bison? <laughs> I'll link it here if you guys didn't watch it. But in that video, I asked you guys if you wanted to hear my first scariest travel story, scary, my scariest travel story, just my scariest travel moment thing. And I'm actually, I want to know in the comments if you guys think that this one sounds scarier or the bison one, because in my head, I feel like if I'm explaining them, the bison one sounds a little bit scarier, but this one was scarier. But anyway, so I'm just going to get into that story right now. So about four years ago, which is crazy to think that it was this long ago, I was living in Nashville, but then I went back to stay at my mom's house for the holiday season. And then right after that, I decided that I wanted to move to LA. So I drove back to Nashville, picked up one of my friends, and she and I drove out to LA. So we got to LA and she and I stayed at one of her friend's houses. Now I don't talk to any of these people anymore. Like we're not friends anymore. So I don't want to say their names in this video. So I'm just going to say like my friend, my friend's friend, and it might get a little complicated, but I hope it doesn't. So we got to LA, we like unpacked a little bit, hung out with my friend's friend a little bit. And then my friend wanted to go up to Big Sur. So we left and we took, it was like a four or six hour drive and we drove up to Big Sur, which is like just a, a pretty spot. Like I think a lot of people love Big Sur, like mountains, cliffs. I'm pretty sure it's on the water. I kind of don't remember now at this point because I hate Big Sur now. <laughs> like my memory of Big Sur sucks, but it's just like California, Southern California, beautiful, beautiful. So my friend wanted to go. She had another friend who lived up there. So we were going to stay with him. And then, so she and I drove up and it's a very like windy drive. And so we drove up like this and we finally got to Big Sur and we went to a bar and I had this like delicious, like bowl of mashed potatoes and corn and chicken and cheese and it was freaking delicious and my friend at the bar had a lot of alcohol so we were there for a few hours hanging out i was eating my bowl she was drinking her drinks later that night we were gonna go to her big sir friend's house this story is so complicated but it's really not the all you need to know at this point in the story is that my friend and i were in big sur and we were gonna go stay at her friend's house so we left the bar mind you i was super sober my friend was super not so my friend and i got in my car and we started driving and we were following her friend back to his place and i can't remember why like we didn't have the address like maybe we didn't have his phone number and my friend's phone died or something happened where we had to follow him and like we couldn't contact him. So we were following him and after, you know, 30 seconds or so, the road started to go like this. And I was like, mm, nope, I don't love this very much, but okay, but we can do it, it's fine. And so I was like a little nervous, but I was like, you know what? The person in front of us is doing it, so it's possible, so we can do it and whatever, fine. So my friend was super drunk in the passenger seat. I was driving, road was like this. Then I realized, mind you, it was like the middle of the night, so it was pitch black and it was like woodsy and stuff, so there were no street lights. So the only lights that we had were the headlights of the car. So then I realized that not only was her friend going super fast, probably not super fast, he's probably going like 40, but with all the like turns and twists and this, it felt fast, you know? So while we were going like this in pitch black, I realized that the road was not much wider than my car. And, and to top it off, being California, there were like cliffs on either side of the road. Not like cliffs that like go down millions of feet, but like at least cliffs that go down, I, I can't remember, but like at least like 10, 20 feet. So like if we fell off of them, it would have not been good. So this cliffs on either side, pitch black, and my friend was drunk. So she could not help me whatsoever. I was freaking out. I started crying hysterically because I couldn't see anything. And if I drove like three feet in the wrong direction, we would have fallen off the cliff. So we drove and we drove and we drove and I was crying hysterically. My friend was just drunk. And I think the whole ride was, I don't even know, maybe like eight or 10 minutes. I don't remember, but we finally, finally, finally got to the top. So like nothing like extra crazy bad happened. Like we got there safe, everything was fine. But just the experience of trying to drive up like a mountain with like 
kind of cliffs or whatever. I don't even know what you'd really call them, but like on either side of the road in the dark while we were following somebody, I didn't even know where I was going. It was just so scary, so scary, so scary. So we finally got up to the top, which is where they lived on the top of this mountain. And so the next morning we woke up and I'm like, you need to drive, I'm never driving again. I was like so scared and angry. And she drove down and it was like perfectly fine. The hill like, the, the steepness, what is this called? Um, was like not as severe because I guess like the back of the mountain, however it was, however it led to the road in the back, it just was not as steep and not as windy and not as like cliffy. And we got there in like 30 seconds. And I was like, oh my gosh, why didn't we go up this way? I was like so angry. So then we, I think we saw like one thing she wanted to see, which I don't even remember what it was. And we may have went to like a beach for 30 seconds and that was it. I was like, I need to go back to LA immediately. So we drove back or she drove back. She ended up staying another few days and then she flew back to Nashville. But then I stayed there for another maybe two or three weeks and I got the flu and it was horrible. Cause I was like not in my own place. I was at her friend's house it was so weird and then I ended up moving to Portland like I didn't even actually move or live in LA I ended up moving to Portland but I'm gonna tell that whole story next week sometime like my moving around story but anyway I think that's the end of that story so that's it for this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments any other like story time videos you want to hear from me and subscribe if you're not already I'm putting out videos Monday through Friday for the rest of the year and I have some pretty awesome videos planned so I hope you subscribe and then you can watch them and that is it I love you Jesus loves you and I'll talk to you later bye